Good morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with so today we celebrate Memorial Day when we remember all our fallen heroes and also our loved ones as well. We also celebrate Children's Day, remember the little ones that God has given to us, these ones who are gifts to our homes and gift to the world. We also remember today the memorial of St. Saint, Saint, <coughs> Saint Augustine of Canterbury. We ask God today that our prayers and petitions will find meaning and purpose in his sight. Dear people of God, for us to participate worthily in this sacrifice of the Holy Mass, let us call to mind our sins and ask for God's pardon. I confess. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have revealed that peacemakers are to be called your children, grant to pray that we may work without ceasing to establish that justice which alone ensures true and lasting peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in his great mercy gave us a new birth to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who by the power of God are safeguarded through faith to a salvation that is ready to be revealed in the final time. In this you rejoice, although now for a little while you may have to suffer through various trials, so that the genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold that is perishable, even though tested by fire, may prove to be for praise, glory, and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Although you have not seen him, you love him. Even though you do not see him now, yet you believe in him, you rejoice with an indescribable and glorious joy as you attain the goal of faith, the salvation of your souls. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, the Lord will remember his covenant forever. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. He has given food to those who fear him. He will forever be mindful of his covenant. He has made known to his people the power of his works giving them the inheritance of the nations. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. He has sent deliverance to his people. He has ratified his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. 
His praise endures forever. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Jesus Christ became poor, although he was rich, so that by his poverty you might become rich. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. As Jesus was setting out on a journey, a man ran up, knelt down before him, and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus answered him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. You shall not defraud. Honor your father and your mother. He replied and said to Jesus, Teacher, all of these I have observed for my youth. Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, You are lacking in one thing. Go, sell what you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. At that statement, his face fell, and he went away sad, for he had many possessions. Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How hard it is for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were amazed at his words. So Jesus again said to them in reply, Children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. They were exceedingly astonished and said among themselves, Then, who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For men, it is impossible, but not for God. All things are possible for God. The Gospel of the Lord. On days like this, you find out that there are so many trusts to the readings, and so you start asking yourself what would be the best fit for this day. However, I will try to make a little bit of comments on every part of our celebration today, beginning from the Memorial Day. On this day, we remember our fallen heroes, but most importantly, it reminds us of the values on which this nation has been built. Love of country, sacrifice, honor. These are important values that we must treasure in our hearts and transfer to our children. So as we celebrate this day, just remember to teach our children these things, that these values have kept us going and these values will continually secure this nation. Secondly, remember on this day too, the celebration of our children. Our children are gifts from God to us. As we already know, every child comes with his own unique promise, with his own unique gift. And so we are invited to raise them up, to train them, to be good custodians, because our children are given to us by God. We never stop being a mother or a father. Up until the point of your death, you are always a father. But your role changes at different points in time. The way you carry out your role is always transformed. And finally, from the gospel reading of today, 
we see the importance of detachment. The readings, the gospel reading particularly, may sound a bit harsh when Jesus says, it is hard for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. What God strikes at today is not condemnation of riches or wealth, but an unholy attachment to these things. We are invited to detach ourselves from anything that is not godly. So we are expected to use everything we have in service of God. Not just wealth. It could be other forms of attachment we have. It could be an unholy relationship. It could be to a particular form of addiction. Whatever it is, God invites us today to practice a sense of detachment. It may sound a bit difficult to do, but it's important to remember that detachment gives us the freedom to make better choices. One who has little gods around him, the god of wealth, the god of money, and the god of drugs, whatever little gods it may be, is denied that inner peace and inner freedom to make choices, to make the right and appropriate decision in life. And so, it is important you let go, free yourself from this burden, and use whatever you have in service of God. Finally, again, in the first reading, we are invited to, to see our difficult moments, our trials, our hard times, as opportunities God is giving to us to grow in faith and in grace. For those who are going through one difficulty or the other, one past trauma in your heart, God is inviting you today to use this difficulty as an opportunity to grow in your service of him. It may be here today, but it won't last forever. The prayers of the faithful. For the church, may the Lord continue to bless her and help her grow in number and unity. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who are entrusted with the care and protection of their fellow citizens, may they be guided by God's grace. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who suffer from physical or mental distress, may the healing power of Christ bring them relief. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For this faith community, may the Holy Spirit guide us in our efforts to be more forgiving and gracious. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all who have died marked with the sign of the cross, May they rest in peace for all eternity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, holy marriage, permanent diaconate, and single life, we pray. Lord hear our prayer. For those in public office, that they may be inspired by the Holy Spirit to serve and protect all life from conception to natural death, we pray. For all those remembered in our prayer petition thank you book, that through God's everlasting love, they will receive the help they need, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. God, the Father, in faith we present our petitions to you today. May our request not go unanswered. We ask God this through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the saving sacrifice of your Son, the King of Peace, offered under sacramental signs that signify peace and unity, Strengthen, we pray, O Lord, concord among all your children, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. <coughs> Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, a duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts to pray by sending down your spirits upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. (laughs) 
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord. <clears throat> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jerome, our Bishop, his auxiliaries, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, a spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. on earth as it is in heaven. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with the will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Bestow on us, we pray, O Lord, the spirit of charity, so that sustained by the body and blood of your only begotten Son, we may be effective in nurturing among all the peace that he has left us, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel. We are reminded that on this day, we are expected to find time to visit the cemetery to pray for the souls of those who have died in combat. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. O sacrament most holy,